So, you want to be an e-log outlaw, do you? Well, let's visit that. Um, seems like a lot of new drivers who come in and uh, use e-logs. I'm going to shut this truck off here. I guess they don't know how to edit them. And I was watching Joe Cannell's uh, live feed earlier, and he had posted, uh, talked about a question a guy asked him about how he's only getting 2,000 miles a week because he runs out of hours. And he doesn't know how to maximize his uh, 70 hours so uh, on his e-logs. So I have a Qualcomm in this truck. And uh, I will uh, show you guys. Sorry, holding the camera all wonky. I'll show you guys how to, uh, how to edit it. All right, here we go. So here we are. Let me uh, back out of this crap here. And let's go to our hours of service right here okay as you can see I've been on duty for 19 minutes all right I didn't do 19 minutes worth of work I'm actually out hours I'm spending the night here um, so I need to change that um, to sleeper berth because this is where I'm spending the night so it's real simple the first thing you have to do is you have to change your duty you change your status okay um, I'm gonna change mine to sleeper berth all right, you don't need a remark. Um, you know, basically, when I the only thing I show on duty time for is fueling. I show five minutes, and I show five minutes for pre-trip inspection every morning. That's it. It's the only on time on duty time I show. You know, so um, what they don't know won't hurt them. All right, so hit OK. Uh, now I'm in the sleeper, but now I need to edit that on duty time. So I'm gonna go up here to approve, right like that, and see how there's that on duty time, that 20 minutes. I'm gonna click on that, and I'm gonna hit edit. Just like that. And it's gonna, it's gonna give you a deal um, where you can change it. Uh, you can also cut it. So say you only, say you did 10 minutes worth of work, but you showed 20 minutes. Well, you can see how it splits it up, 10 and 10. You can actually use the clock and change that. Um, but you can just, you can, there's your off-duty sleeper berth, drive on duty, and then off-duty driving, you can change all that. You can, you can't edit driving and off-duty driving, but um, all the rest of this you can edit. So uh, we don't need to cut our time, so I'm just going to get rid of that. I'm going to go down here and uh, select sleeper berth, okay? Hit okay, just like that. All right. Uh, it's going to give you a reason. Just put error. That's all I ever put. So, um, and then click OK. Where am I here? OK. As we say. So as you can see, um, you edited that time right there. So now you have, go back to status, now you have 21 minutes. In the, uh, oh, don't pay attention to that. That's nothing. That has nothing. That is, that's workflow. That doesn't have anything. Uh, to do with uh, get out of here look at all this garbage so so yeah you edited that time now it shows 21 minutes in the sleeper um, you can do that throughout your day to maximize your I apologize for the shaky camera to uh, maximize your drive time I this is for Qualcomm I don't know how people net or some of the other ones work I, I imagine they're much similar um, but that's how you maximize your time. Show on duty as little as possible, you know, uh, you know, as little as uh, your company requires, basically. Whatever they require you to show on duty time for, do it, you know, but show as little as possible. Uh, you don't need to, um, you know, that's how you save your 70 hour clock, just like that. Um, so, there you go. Uh, that's my instructional video uh for editing i'm not an instructional video kind of guy but uh you know some people out there need some help and uh you know why not help you guys out so if you enjoyed it uh comment like and subscribe and uh you got any questions you can hit me up i'm pretty good with this stuff uh, e-log stuff um yeah so thanks for watching catch you later